Hello and welcome, Matt from Gallantway here. And today we are presenting to you the e-commerce profitability and benchmarking tool. Um, we're giving it away completely for free. We wanna help founders just like yourself and marketing teams grow and build more profitable brands. Um, the tool's been built in partnership with the team at Plant, who are a um, e-commerce business consultancy and advisory consultancy. Um, they provide some amazing services um, around helping creative founders with kind of the creative execution of their brands, as well as the real nitty gritty metrics and um, guidance when it comes to everything to um, build a profitable company. So um, you can visit them at plan.com.au and uh, the Sydney base, absolutely incredible people. Definitely check them out. Um, and also maybe a quick reminder on who we are. Um, we're an e-commerce growth firm. Um, we're Australia's leading strategic firm. What we do is we help founders um, every single day grow and build more profitable brands. We do this through improving customer acquisition, through customer retention, and through optimizing better stores. So um, jump on our website, say hello, um, don't be a stranger. So um, the tool itself, which I'll just run you through in this video, is made up of three different parts. The first part are the inputs, which you can essentially get from um, Zero. You can essentially get from Shopify. I'll run you through those in a second. The second part is just the detail. So these inputs are useful, but only in the context which we're looking at. So there's a bit of information around why we're looking for these, um, as well as some handy little tips on what kind of best practices. And the third part is the insight. So this has kind of been built out of working with hundreds of e-commerce businesses around Australia and New Zealand. Um, and also some information from the best ones in the in the US and UK. Effectively, um, it's great because we have a bit of an informational advantage. We get to look at lots of brands, lots of businesses, and we can kind of see the ones that really work really well. And because we can look at that information, we can kind of aggregate and bring that information together um, and establish some benchmarks around kind of what good looks like. Um, so we've done that for you. Um, so this is a bit of a self-assessment tool. You can run through the inputs um, and then it'll kind of spit out um, where you're at with regards to what great looks like, what's good net profit, what's good um, marketing expense ratio, where are we at versus customer acquisition cost, um, what are the targets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so it's an amazing tool for um, for doing that. We're giving it away for free. So. Um, the first part, the input, there's about 25 fields. It actually won't take you that long. Um, you can look at either a 30 day or a month, or you can look at 12 months or whatever period kind of makes sense that you're trying to analyze. Um, typically we kind of look at the last month, last quarter, and then um, last year. And effectively what you do is um, you just follow the three steps here, which is, you know, you input the fields that are required. So net sales in this case, total orders and Shopify, uh, cost of, um, cost of sales, cost of goods. Um, and then kind of follow the kind of core, core, core process down here. Um, and by the time you get to the bottom, it'll make a lot of sense. Um, and then you can also reference the, the details and information here if you want to learn more about kind of the, the metric as well as you want to learn more about kind of what best practice looks like. Once you've done that, it'll auto calculate the insights component and it'll give you some benchmarks, what our target should be um and then where you're at versus that target so it'll give you a good idea of like how you stack up against the best brands um the most profitable businesses regardless of what category you're in um and then it'll also even break out your break-even targets and also your 25 percent net profit targets so it'll give you an idea of kind of what number of orders you need to meet per day per month in order to meet break even and then beyond that if you want to achieve 25 percent net profit what do you need to do in terms of daily orders? What do you need to do in terms of monthly orders? And then kind of where you're at versus um, MER. So hopefully that gives you um, a pretty amazing tool to at least benchmark your own business against the best brands um, and to calculate some basic information around kind of net profit. Obviously there's some other inputs as well for more advanced businesses. This will work really kind of from, I'd say up to about um, three to $4 million in revenue, provided that you don't have a, a massive omni-channel or multiple store experience. This will work for kind of like a single store um, and a single retail store. Uh, but beyond that, you probably need something a bit more sophisticated, which uh, we can definitely share with you. So um, for the majority of um, early stage businesses, for founders, this should be an amazing tool to kind of benchmark your business and get a pretty good idea of kind of where you stand. Um, drop us a line. Uh, if you have any questions, um, reach out to us, reach out to the team at Plant, um, chat to us in any of the comments. It's going to be shared across a couple of different platforms. And um, yeah, ha happy growth. Um, and hopefully this helps um, a couple of founders grow and build more profitable brands. Thanks.